by God. The last Apple event literally just happened. It feels like it was yesterday. And here we are. Apple has announced another event coming on October 30th. So what can we expect? Well, the first step is always looking at those Apple logos in the invites because they always clue on to something. Whether it was the gold in the last invite, cluing on to the gold phones, to the bokeh a few years ago, cluing on to portrait mode in the new iPhone 7 Plus, the invites are always hinting at something. And this year, you've got a ton of different invites. In fact, if you keep reloading that page, you'll see up to 20 different pictures of Apple logos, and they look like they've been drawn. Probably by an Apple pencil, which would make perfect sense because the number one thing that is rumored to happen at this event is the release of a brand new Apple Pencil 2, and of course, to go with it, a brand new iPad Pro. So, what can we expect from a brand new iPad Pro? If I'm like you, and I'm sure I am, I don't love iPads. I've never owned an iPad, and I've never really used an iPad, so this kind of stuff would not excite me. But, the reason that this iPad Pro is going to be very special is because it's kind of going to be like an iPad Pro 10. It's going to have that iPhone 10 like design, being almost completely edge to edge. While iPads have come a long way from the original, they have always been pretty bezel-y, so this one should be pretty revolutionary. It'll be faster, of course. So we'll have the brand new A12 Bionic chip that's been in the new phones, as well as having Face ID and the lack of a home button. Soon expect that nice white bar on the bottom of all your content. Speaking of intrusive, there will not be a notch on the new iPad Pros, which is actually pretty nice. I don't think you really need it. So Apple's kind of taking a more Samsung approach with these new iPads, making it close to bezel-less, but not really having it edge to edge. But the biggest thing that you should actually care about is that these new iPads will be switching to USB-C charging. I know, this seems so insane, so crazy, so un-Apple, except that it's actually one of the most Apple things Apple has ever really done. Remember when they switched from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 5 and they brought in lightning for the first time? No, you probably don't because I'm sure you were like six, but that was a big deal. And now they're doing the same thing with the iPads, but it actually does make sense. If you think about it, all of Apple's kind of lower and less premium products charge with a lightning adapter. That is the iPhones, the iPods, and the iPads. While Apple's more expensive, more premium products like the MacBook and MacBook Pro charge using USB-C. And as you guys know, Apple's been trying to market these iPad Pros as computers that can replace your daily laptop. So if they really want this iPad Pro to be a computer, you should charge with that premium port that all the computers are charging with, USB-C. So while it doesn't make a lot of sense at first, you can see what Apple's thinking is with this. It should speed up the charge. You can have a ton of positive benefits, but as far as why they actually did it, it's just to kind of differentiate it from the other iPad models and show that this thing is the real deal. I still probably won't buy it though because I have my own computer that I think will work a lot better. But hey, if you don't have a computer and you're looking for one to buy, the new iPad Pro might just be a nice option. But what else? Usually in these October events, which Apple doesn't do very often, they release more than just an iPad. At least last year, they released some MacBooks and we can expect that again this year. The rumor is that there's going to be a new MacBook to replace the old and forgotten MacBook Air, which would make sense. I'm sure it'll have a nice retina display and cut down on those bezels since the MacBook Air has had a long time since its last refresh. But speaking of neglected, forgotten, and delayed products, the Mac Mini hasn't been updated in the last four years. It's been more than 1,400 days since the Mac Mini received its last update, so we can also expect an update to that. But what else? While we're on the update train of all of these wild card crazy products that have been completely forgotten, what about Air Power? AirPods 2, a new Mac Pro, iPhone SE 2. Apple has a lot to fill us in on, and hopefully they'll be able to do that with this event, but knowing Apple, I'm sure the entire event will just be talking about, like, the iOS 12.1 update or something like that. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you hope to see at this next Apple event. And I know I said this in the last video, and I'll keep saying this until I get back on my hype train, but I have not been uploading it at all lately. I've been super, super busy with a lot of different stuff, so don't forget to click over here to see another video and click down here to subscribe. Peace out.